Hey, sports fans, PB and Z, sports chaos, kicking off your weekend. PB yeah. down there in the man cave, starting to get a little dark outside. As you know, here in the Eastern Seaboard, we got daylight savings time. All right, PB, we just had World Series end. 3 2, Dodgers, I know, 4 1, I'm sorry. Dodgers win that thing, right? Yep. You're not surprised, are you? No, I mean, we I both I... picked the Dodgers. We both picked the Dodgers. Um, we didn't think it was going to end in five. No. But what – it's just – I don't know, man. Are the, are the Yankees, like, the the new, like, Jets? Or, like, what's going on with that team? Like, are they just destined for failure? And, by the way, speaking of Jets, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> Aaron Judge, they both choke on the big lights, right? I Well, well I mean, let's say last night – Aaron Rodgers did bring that team back against Houston in the second he half. Did. So yes. we got it. But still, well, as a did franchise. Did he bring back or did, did Gary Wilson bring him back? Yeah, right. Good point. Good point. But but back to the World Series, I really I, – obviously, I'm happy about the results. We we picked Dodgers. We were half heart. You know, half half of it was our heart. Half of it was our head. Yeah. But we, but we did like the Dodgers. Yeah. And – um. It's just great to see the Yankees just fail in the most important part of the game. By I think way, I saw a stat that was over. It's been a hundred and like ten years since a team has done like three errors in a game or three errors in an inning, five unearned runs, whatever. Not in a postseason, in any baseball any game. game in a hundred and ten yeah. years. And I'm like, man, that was an epic failure for the Yankees. But you know what? Give credit to the Dodgers, man. They played their hearts out. Their pitching came through when it needed to. Um, Freddie Freeman had a fantastic series. He Is Freddie the Freeman year. the classiest guy in sports? He, he could, definitely in baseball, and he could be in sports, yeah. Oh, man, and he's just such a warrior. I mean, he had a bad playoff series because he's limping around that ankle, and then, oh, my God, he lit it up in the World Series, right? I, I loved it. It was a great series to watch, and I, I love the results. And, hey, let's give props to the – to the Dodgers, man. They deserved it. They played a hell of a year. And I and think you way, and I have actually picked the Dodgers like the last three years. Yeah, <laughs> they fought, I mean, they, they have such a talented roster. And then they add I, Shohei, who was so so in the World Series. But I mean, that roster is so talented. By the way, uh, Juan Soto from the Yankees, he's like minutes after the game, he's already talking about he's going to go to the team that gives them the most money practically, right? Is he the most one sided? I mean, I, I thought Aaron Rodgers was the biggest idiot and asshole in sports. One solo takes the cake. Yeah, and you know what? It's kind of sad because, unfortunately, the Yankees have that reputation of it's it's not about – it's just about, like, trying to win championships. Let's pay guys money. They don't have that chemistry and that feel that other teams do. I mean, think even back to the Red Sox when they had their team and – you know, how dingy and grungy and just how, you know what I mean? It was like, it was a the team. Dirt dogs, they, yes, the dirt they're dogs. They're not a team. They're not a team. They're no. not a true sports team. So, you know, screw them. I don't really care. The whole thing with that that game two, with the game four with the bet situation and him going into the stands and the guy grabbing the ball, that's like all, that's all. Uh, Typical man. Yankees. Typical Yankees, the fans, everything, right? I, everything about it. Everything about it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's sad. All right. So thank God the Yankees suck. They lost again. We love it. All right. <laughs> let's move on to college football. You ready for this? So last week we had BYU and Indiana both won. BYU is now 8 0. Four games they've been picked to be an underdog. They keep winning in the Big 12, the new conference. And Indiana, 9 0. I mean, is this a new day in college football? Obviously it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, not let's not forget Illinois too. I mean, there's like <laughs> I'm gonna pick that game in a minute. Alabama came back, they decimated Missouri 34 to nothing. We picked that game last week. I know I picked Alabama to cover it. It was and they blew them out. So this week we got a couple of good games, but I want to ask about one game we're not gonna pick. Surprisingly not, and it's because the state of Florida sucks, other than Miami's finally rebounding, but Florida and Georgia usually is a great game in the, the world's largest, and no one else was to say it, but I'm going to say it, cocktail party in Jacksonville. But that game usually is really a renowned to watch, and no one wants to see him to watch it this year. 
Right, because Florida is not going to be a you know, factor. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Let's talk about a game that's going to be a factor, though. Ohio State, Penn State. PB, I got a couple facts here for you. James Franklin, the coach from Penn State, Ohio State's favorite in that game at Penn State, Ohio State three-point favorite. Franklin is 1-12 in 12 against top five schools. That doesn't sound good to me. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't. And um, it's probably one of the reasons why I'm picking Penn State in this game. But, <laughs> but by the way, Ryan Day, on the other hand, has also lost, I believe, five games against top 10 schools since he's been in the ranks, since Urban Meyer went off to uh, chase college girls at bars, whatever it was. So what do you think of this game? It's a three-point favorite, Ohio State on the road. You take, you like Penn State? I, I like Penn State getting points at home. I mean, Happy Valley is a tough place to play, right? It is. Let's it is. It. Let's face it. And, I, you know, I Ohio State's – they're not the Ohio States of like the last like five years, you know. I think they're a little bit of a different team this year for the worse. By the um, way, you say that, right? But Urban Meyer came out just yesterday or today and said he believes this is the best Ohio State roster in 10 years. Is he saying Ryan Day up for failure? <laughs> I, I mean, I yeah, yes, I think he is. I think he is. And I think he's a little bit off his rocker with that comment. Um I'm I'm going Penn State. I, you're at home. Your big marquee game. You're getting points. I, I got to take Penn State in this one. Sorry. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Right. By the way, I have no like James Franklin. He's not a bad guy. Ryan Day never should have got the job, in my opinion. So I'm picking on uh, Penn State all day long. What's G Money got? G Money's got, of course, uh, Ohio State. Of course he does. He loves Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. You would think he's from Ohio. He's really from Georgia. But, all right, Texas A&M goes on the road. Number 10 team in the country to South Carolina. South Carolina has been a tough place to play this year. They've already beaten one top 25 team, a top 20 team. Texas A&M was a, a three-point favorite. They upset. Uh, they beat somebody last week. I can't, I, I can't believe I forgot who it is already. But who do you think in this game? What do you like? Yeah, A&M beat LSU, didn't they? Yes, that's right. There yeah. you go. To be an LSU. Um and and because of that, I'm like, okay, AM's AM's talented. They're a good team. Um, so I'm gonna I know they're going on the road this week and it is a tough opponent, but I'm gonna lay the three. I think I'm going AM on this one. I'm with you. I got them as well. Oh uh, well G Money, <laughs> G Money has South Carolina. So <laughs> and well, not for not the right this time. He could be right this time, but I'm, I'm sticking with you. I think t if this game was three and a half, I might have leaned towards South Carolina. But at three, I think I think Texas A&M. Worst comes to uh, it's a push. All okay. right, here's the game. I'm totally shocked by the spread. Pittsburgh goes to SMU. I believe SMU's lost one. I think Pittsburgh is still undefeated. If I'm not mistaken, they're 18. SMU is 20. I know it's a road game for Pitt, but Pitt looks really freaking good. Yeah. Seven and a half point favorite for SMU. I don't see it, man. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, and I got the. I, I'm I'm right there with you. I mean, I, I think this is uh, you know, I think Pittsburgh can win this game outright. I, I mean, I'd be looking at the money line on this one rather than laying the points, but or getting the points, I should say. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, but I think they can win outright. Give me the seven and a half all day with Pittsburgh. Um. G Money has SMU. <laughs> of course he does. The Vegas wise guys and G Money have lost their mind the last couple of years. All right. All right. So so far, me and you are the same on all three. G Money's the opposite. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here's another one that just blows my mind. Illinois is in the top 25. And now I know Minnesota's a tough team. They're not even close to the top 25. They're on the road. Oh. They're on the road. They're a three-point favorite against Illinois on the road. I don't even understand the uh math. I, I don't understand either. I, I this could be a little bit of a trap, but I, I'm not falling into it. I, I'm taking yeah. Illinois with the three at home on this one. It's like a no-brainer to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, we're not going to roll the boat, Minnesota, but we're going with Illinois. What's G Money got? And she, believe it or not, G Money has Illinois too. So at least we're the same on that one. But okay. uh, you and I are the same on all four picks this week. So no, okay. no gain, no pain on this one. So we'll see where we go. All right, PB, NFL, last week was freaking crazy. You obviously had the big one, right? The com commanders coming back with that um, last Hail Mary. 
touched Hell Hail Mary. Yeah. You were in Miami when Arizona came back, correct? Right? I was at that game live, yeah. Oh my God. And That's then you had Cleveland coming out of nowhere to win the game at the end uh, the versus Ravens. Baltimore, right? Yeah. James Winston goes back from the dead. The Patriots yeah. beat the Jets. What was the start of the week in your mind? Player or team? Uh, uh, the game, game, just game. Stunner of the week last week. Oh, man, oh, stunner of the week. I think you said stud of the week. Okay, um, I'd have to say, I'd have to say Cleveland. Cleveland coming back to beat the Ravens to me was like that. I'm with you. I hate with you. Those other games, they're all even the Jets. I, you know, we we didn't pick that game last week, but if we did, I might have picked the Pats. Um, I'm not surprised by that, but that one blew my mind. Yes, and Jameis, famous Jameis, coming back from the dead, right? Cleveland, he looked right. pretty freaking good. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Cooper, and Cooper's gone. Cooper, um, Amari Cooper's not there anymore. So no. you see, like. They're just like scrapping together these players and just kind of figuring it out. So, hey, we're picking that game. So, it's, that should be interesting. We'll talk about it. By the way, the Jets, you mentioned, they lost to the pass. Uh, Aaron looked like crap once again. But then last night, he, as you were mentioned earlier, he pulls the game out from his a-hole. And they yep. win. I think it's more on Garrett Wilson than anything more because he made great catches saving Aaron's ass. But yep. – is, is is this going to propel the Jets, or is that just like a speed bump? That's a great question. I mean, their schedule is pretty weak the rest of the season. Um, I think they have one game left with a team that's over 500, and that's when they have to play at Buffalo. Their other seven games are all against sub-500 teams. So it's possible. Um, we know they're talented. We've talked about their talent. I mean, defensively, offensively. I think they can make a little run. I, I don't know if they're going to get into the playoffs, but I could see this team finishing like maybe eight and nine. Rogers seems to think so. So if they can get to eight and nine, they're not making the playoffs. Nine and eight, they probably still won't make the playoffs. And that would have to be a heck of a run because they're three and six right now. So they'd have to go, what, six and two the rest of the way to get to right. nine and eight, which, right. and I think 10 and seven is out of the question. So yeah, I would agree. I would and I don't agree. think a nine and eight team gets you in in the AFC, but. Uh, that's well, probably the best case scenario. Uh, in that Hail Mary game, the commanders over the uh, Bears, the big news of the week was Tyreek Stevens, the cornerback, who's out there yapping at the fans while the play's going on. I I know his coaches let lets him go, but should you bench him for? A, I would bench him for a week, would you not? If I if I might have even cut him. Yeah, I mean Belichick would. <laughs> oh God, I mean, come on, really, seriously. Yeah. You know, and not to mention the fact that he was the guy who came into the play late and actually deflected the ball up in the air when, you know, the, the classic rule of Hail Mary's is bat it down. And the other classic rule is box guys out. you got to get in front of your guys. Guy. He was not supposed to be a jumper. He was supposed to be yeah. a box out guy. Yeah, and, and that so didn't happen. So, yeah, very disappointing. Hey, by the way, Joe Flacco is going to start this week. I, I think we're going to pick this game, if I'm not mistaken, right? But is yep. that the right move, Joe Flacco? Yeah, I mean, Anthony Richardson, I know you were high on him. You had him going, I think, like third overall or something in the draft. And Two years ago, two years ago, yeah. Yeah, a couple of years ago. He's you know got what? talent. I just don't know if he's ready. I just don't know if he's an NFL-type quarterback. Point, BB, we've talked about this a few times. You've got to play some games. Similar to Trey Lance, oh, for now on his third, second team, right? Played 11 games in college, uh, you know, for a du one double A school or whatever they're called now. You got to play games. Bo Nix is having a decent year. He's played 53 games in college, right? You have yep. to play college football. I'm sorry. So, Anthony yep. Richardson, you didn't play college football. This is what you get in the day. Joe yep. Flacco, best move that they're making. And by the way, uh, is he 40 yet? He's close to 40. He's better than Aaron Rodgers right now in the, at the time of their age. Yeah, that's uh, it's a pretty safe statement. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's make some picks. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, we're going to go, first of all, your hometown, Miami Dolphins. They played better last week. <clears throat> I know they lost to Kyler Murray. By the way, you talked me out of that. I would have been, what, six, five and six and oh, if it wasn't for that <laughs> game. Dolphins play the Bills. What do you think? 
at Buffalo. Up in Buffalo. I, I mean, I saw Miami play with all their weapons back, and they played okay. I mean, they still have they still have ways to go. Get get some of those offensive guys involved. I mean, A Chan had a freaking game and a half. Um, but they were playing the Cardinals, you know. Yeah. So here they are playing the Bills. Um, and by the way, their defense looked horrible. Absolutely horrible. Well, that's what like, blew the game for them. That's what blew the game for them. They couldn't stop anything. Trey McBride went bananas. Um, you know, they couldn't defend tight ends at all. I think Kincaid's gonna have a big game. Oh um, god, yes. I, this week, so I, I'm all in on on the Bills this week. I think they actually beat them handily. Actually, yeah, I, I with you. What's G Money got? G Money's got Buffalo as well. So we're all we're all on that one. All right, here we go. Chargers starting to wake up a little bit. They go to Cleveland, who's all of a sudden hot with Jameis, famous Jameis playing. What do you think in this game? Yeah, yeah, I think Cleveland's got a little momentum here going. I I, I actually am taking Cleveland in this one. I think just given the defense, I think the Chargers are not like an explosive type of team. So I think it'll come down to like a time of possession type of situation. Um, and I think Cleveland at home with that little extra momentum they're carrying from last week, I'm going to give this one to the to the Browns. I'm going the other way. I'm going Chargers. I saw stuff out of Justin last week. He threw for over 300 yards, no touchdowns, but he played the control game that Harbaugh loves. So I, I'm surprised that he's playing Harbaugh's game, but he's doing it well. And so I like uh, Chargers to win this game. All right. G minus with the Chargers too. So I'm, I'm the odd man out on that one. All right. Dallas and Atlanta. Oh my God. <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> Beat Tampa Bay last week. Another game that could have been won at the end, but uh, Baker Mayfield's pass went out of the end zone. It was caught, but uh, like a yard out of the end zone because he didn't put enough height on it. I don't know what to think, but I'm going to go Dallas because I'm not – I just think Dallas has to break out of the slump. They do. And, and for that reason, I'm like, this is like a must win for Dallas. So I was thinking, hey, let's go Dallas on this one. But – they haven't shown me enough. They haven't shown me enough to put my faith in picking them over a very talented Atlanta team this year. Um, Atlanta's playing really well. And they, their defense is actually playing pretty well, too, especially their pass defense. So, um, and they've got nothing out of Matthew Judon yet. Yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly. And and if, if, if Atlanta's – like, their pass defense is good. Their run defense isn't so good. But Dallas isn't like a really running team. So if Dallas had this explosive running offense, then I could maybe lean towards Dallas a little bit. But I see that. I, yep. I, yeah. I just can't do it. I, I'm sticking with Dallas on this. I mean, with Atlanta on this one. I bet G Money is too. Yeah, G Money is too. So you oh, I feel good about my Dallas pick then. Okay. All right. All right, probably the best game of the weekend. Lions, yep. Packers, except Jordan Love, I think, is still not cleared, right? Um, he's not clear technically. He's still carrying an injury designation into the weekend, but I think he's going to be good to go. Uh, oh, by the way, Malik Willis has actually played pretty good, and they're more balanced. They run the ball a little more with Malik than they, a lot more than they did with um with um Jordan. So yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm not picking the Packers, but they're going to give him a scare. If Malik Willis plays. Trust me on that. Yeah, Green yeah. Bay. I mean, either way, I think that Green Bay. It's in Green Bay. Um, this 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 is one of those games that I think shifts the entire seeding in the NFC. Wouldn't Agreed. Green Bay become the number one seed overall if they win this game? Um, and if Detroit wins, they're going to put that big three. Probably there'll be two games, but technically three because they just beat them, right? So they'll have like a three game lead on Green Bay. Yep. Um, Man, Detroit's just playing some good football right now. It's hard for me to pick against them. They're like, to me, they're like the Kansas City of the AFC. It's hard for me to just sit there and say, I don't want to take the Lions. So, I know you don't want to hear – oh, by the way, Brady's I'm calling I'm taking the Lions, game. by the way. I'm taking the Lions. Brady's calling this game. Um, This is the Fox game. This is the late Fox game. Uh, I'm going to go – I'm going to go Detroit as well. So, me and you are on Detroit. g money has got Green Bay. Ooh, he likes Detroit. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's going Green Bay on this one. He's got some news we don't know. Okay. Yeah. Right, another game that all of a sudden is going to be better than people thought. The Colts versus the Vikings, who are now reeling after losing two straight. Colts put Joe Flacco, that's like we talked about a minute ago. He's starting. I'm going to tell you right now, 
I'm already going for Colts. I got Colts, even though it's in Minnesota. Wow, that's interesting because yeah, I, you and G Money both have Indianapolis. In I need one. the old guy to win the I'm, ball game. I'm going Minnesota. I think Minnesota's coming to the realization that hey, we started off five and zero. We just lost two straight. We went from being the number one overall seed in the NFC to being basically, I think they're last in the division now, right? Yeah. Right, because no Chicago lost. No, Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. So Chicago's last, but still, they. I mean, they lose this one. Like they're they're like in a they're in a slide. You stop five and zero and go five and three, that's that's not good. And they're at home. They're against a team that is okay. I mean, I like what you're saying about Flacco and all that, but still, this is big time football, man. And Jonathan Taylor is healthy too. That's another big thing for the Colts. Taylor's healthy, right? No, they're coming in strong. And I mean, Pittman's healthy. Downs is healthy. I mean, and it's still okay. Sam Donald throwing the balls from Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, slippers does come off at midnight. Yeah, I can see scenarios where Indy does pull us off, but you two can stick with Indy. I'm taking Minnesota. Sorry. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right, Bucks KC. If Bucks only had either one of those two, Edwin's a Godwin. This Edwin's a Godwin. I might choose otherwise, but I, it's in KC. I can't. We, we talked about this last week. I can't pick against KC yet. Yeah, we can't. And if you picked them all year, you'd be undefeated because they haven't lost the game yet. So, right, right, yeah. Um, and at home against a team without Evans, a team without Godwin, you know, I, I don't think this is a really – I think it's an easy pick. I'm going KC as well, as does g But I will say this. Tampa Bay, we both had thought they had no shot last week, and they almost won at the end, so. Yeah, no, they're feisty. They're definitely a feisty team. But, hey, they're on the road against Kansas City. Kansas City takes this one. Yeah, I agree. G money, same thing. Yep. Yep. All right, man. All right, there's our picks. There you go, sports fans. PBZ Sportscast giving it to you live and with the wisdom. Talk to you. All right, man.